Right then guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Just finished watching the Newcastle vs West Ham game. Final score, 2-2. Let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. For me, it was a pretty 50-50 game. Uh, and as for Newcastle's performance, I think we had some positives, we had some negatives. I mean, the fact that we were actually losing twice in that game. We were 1-0 down and got it back to 1-1. We were 2-1 down and got it back to 2-2. You know, to be losing twice in a game and still come away with a draw, I don't think you can really argue that one too much. Um, I actually predicted uh, a 1-0 win to Newcastle when I did my predictions last week. I just felt like how well we did against Bournemouth, we could try and... Bring that in this game, maybe not score quite as many goals, but hopefully pick up three points. However, on the flip side, West Ham would just come off after a fantastic win against Chelsea, full on confidence, uh, and you can tell, as I say, because they went up in the game twice. I'm glad we were able to pull our socks up and uh, to pull ourselves back into the game. Um, this morning, I actually started to think this could well be a, a draw, this one. Um, I didn't think it would be 2-2, but I just felt like for West Ham, a uh, fantastic win against Chelsea, to pick up a point against Newcastle is a decent result. And then, if, and then they still have to play um, Burnley, Norwich, Watford, Man U, and then Aston Villa before the end of the season. So to pick up four points between Newcastle and Chelsea before going on to play other relegation rivals in Norwich, Watford, Aston Villa. I think West Ham will be hoping to potentially win four out of five of those games. Um, or even just draws against those teams would be enough to keep them safe. So, you know, I thought maybe a point wouldn't... wouldn't be, you know, I think they wouldn't be too upset with a point. And then for us, you know, the pubs were open yesterday. I don't know if we'd been out drinking, celebrating another year in the Premier League because we didn't look quite like we did against Bournemouth, but in the Bournemouth game, we hit the 40-point mark. You know, we've, we've pretty much secured, well, we have secured our uh, another year in the Premier League, and then to have to, you know, play again three days later, you know, maybe a point suited our players as well. And to be honest, after about 70 minutes, I think both teams seemed pretty happy with the, with the point because not a lot was happening. Um, but to start the game off, um, I don't know if the cells had been drinking last night down the, the big market or whatever, but three minutes in, ball comes across the box for a professional footballer to just completely miss a ball the way he did. Uh, and for West Ham to go 1 0 up after three or four minutes was not great. Um, I know we gave stick for his for Gale for his miss against Man City. I mean, the cells, like. <sighs> He's had a mare there. Um, and it was spoken that Lascelles had potentially picked up a knock against Bournemouth. They weren't sure he was going to play. Maybe his head wasn't quite switched on yet. Um, and to be honest, the whole, the, I just didn't think we really started the game with any great um, go-get attitude. You know, I, I just didn't wasn't feeling it. Compared to what we were like against Bournemouth, we just kind of started... Kind of the way we started up against Aston Villa... It was a little bit slow, just not quite there. Um, and is it because we're playing that many games and players are getting tired? It could well be. Is it because we were drinking in the pub yesterday? It could well be. Is it because the Bournemouth game secured our Premier League status and now we're heading on holiday, you know, a bit early? Who knows? Uh, but the thing was, once West Ham did score, for the next 10, 15 minutes, we looked much better. It was almost like, oh, hang on. Uh, we, we need to maybe do something here. Uh, we played really well. I thought uh, St. Max, Almiron, Joe Linton were linking up great. Uh, playing the 1-2s with Shelby, who was pushing forward. Uh, and then Almiron goes and grabs himself a goal after 15, 16 minutes. Kraft gets himself an assist. So happy for him on that one as well. Um, and you know, first, 50, uh, first 30 minutes were pretty 50-50. And uh, no real clear-cut opportunities um, and then as the first half was coming to an end we just kind of switched off a little bit again um, as I say we were having positive moments we uh, St Max was running past players uh, Shelby with the one twos with Joe Linton moving 
towards uh, towards their goal, but not create not creating anything too clear cut. But you could tell we were trying to to do something. And then, as I say, for whatever reason, uh, whether they were getting tired or or what, we just kind of slowed down. And then West Ham really had the best of us end of the first half. Uh, Bowen had a shot. Uh, just before the end of the first half, which Dubravka made a fantastic save for, um, going in 1-1. One, one. Uh, come out in the second half, uh, Rice, around the 65th minute, hits a header against the crossbar. And I wrote this one down. Um, Suchek scored the goal. Um, and that was the thing, I was around 65 minutes. We came out second half and didn't really do too much, to be honest. And then they scored in the 65th minute, and it was like rinse and repeat from the first half. We've gone, oh, hang on, maybe we actually do need to play some football again. Um, and we went and got a goal just one minute later. Uh, Shelby's 1-2 with Gale, um, and Shelby puts it in the net. Even though uh, Gale looked offside, he wasn't because their fullback was uh, six, yards, six yards the wrong way. Uh, so we've got a goal. Uh, and then after we got the equaliser, it was like, oh, we're going to just switch off again, basically. And West Ham probably did have the better of the last 20 minutes or so. Again, there was nothing hugely clear-cut. There was no nothing, no point that I get really worried that they were going to stop hammering the goals in. But they were putting the pressure on. They were getting the free kicks. They were getting the corners. We were having small sparks with St. Max and Almiron trying to create something when Lazaro came on he looked all right um Hayden went off injured so hopefully he's okay but Bentelev came on and did all right I think we were generally like solid throughout the game uh, but as I say other than a few sparks and other than when West Ham scored and we thought oh dear we should probably try and score as well you know, if West Ham had got a third, then we could have well have gone, oh, hang on, and we might have started attacking again. And as I say, as the game was getting towards the end, I felt like the point kind of suited both parties. So, as I say, there were some positive moments, there was some nice football from us, but there was also large chunks of the game where uh, we looked like we were on holiday, looked like we were hungover from yesterday. So, I think we did all right. As I say, when you're losing twice in a game... And you're able to pull it back twice and take a point. I don't think you can really argue too much. Um, I think the draw was probably about right. I think West, as I say, I think West Ham probably did have the better of it uh, for a lot of the game. But uh, as I say, there was, they were. It wasn't like when we played Man City and the balls were whistling past the post, and you're thinking, oh god. Uh, they did have more of the opportunities. But really, it was as I say, it was corners. It was uh, the odd free kick. There was there was there was no huge pressure, which is why I felt like we kind of just kind of sat there, um, and just kind of took the draw. To be honest, but yeah, we've been playing a lot of games in quick succession. Uh, when we did get the ball out to Almira on Maxi, we were creating things. I mean, let me know your thoughts down below. We had flashes of the Bournemouth game, and then also had period long periods of what we did in the the villa game which was we just didn't look quite quite there is it because players are getting tired now we're playing a lot of games is it because we're kind of secured our premier league status for next year and we've kind of gone on our holiday were the lads down queuing up for the pubs yesterday and they're all knackered this morning i mean it could be any of the three. We're kind of sore at the fact, you know, we did it, we beat Sheffield United 3-0, then we played Aston Villa, and we just didn't look quite there. We played Bournemouth and won 4-1, and then we played West Ham, and we didn't look quite there. I mean, the fact that we scored two goals, I'm saying that we didn't look quite there. If we could score two goals in every game, when we weren't quite there, then I would be very happy. So, take it with a pinch of salt. It wasn't quite the Bournemouth game, but when you're scoring two goals... That's why I'm saying positive, a bit of negative. Uh, so let me know your thoughts down below. I normally talk about a man in the match. I think for me, um, I'll give it Almiron. Uh, as I say, I th you know what? I, I did actually think that... Um, I mean, if you want to go into with the lineups correct, um, it was nice to see Kraft get a go. Should Lazaro have really got a go? As I say, we're playing a lot of games. I mean, Gale was back on again. Um... And I thought Joe Linton 
uh, St. Max, Almira. I mean, it's an attacking formation. Uh, I thought they did link well at times. I think for for my man of the match, I'd go Almira on. He's got himself another goal. He was one of the, the few that was trying to threaten their goal. Um, so I'll go for him. But yeah, it's going to get harder because uh, on Wednesday, we've got Man City uh, again. So it's... Uh, it's going to get uh, a little tougher, maybe. But if we stick to the way we've been playing in the last few... Sorry, I'm just trying to um, quickly take a look to make sure that it is on Wednesday. It is at 6 o'clock. Um, there's so many games, hard to keep up. Uh, if we can keep going with the way we've done it... You know, we'll beat Sheffield United. Then we drew against Villa. We'll beat Bournemouth. And then we drew against West Ham. Maybe, maybe we'll beat Man City. Uh, you never know. Uh, hopefully they'll be knackered after um, their most recent games as well. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on the game down below. I, I know I've talked for ages. It was just one of them games where maybe not a lot happened, but at least there was some positives to take. And if we can take those positives in the Man City game, maybe we can do something. Uh, but, yeah, thanks for watching. As always, drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. Um, let me know your man of the match down below let me know what you thought of the match down below um, enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening and I'll catch you later